Sami? Yes, sir. So this is your well? This is my well. Quite deep, isn't yes, it? Yes, 45 feet. Wow. Yes, yes. So how do you operate it? I'm using a power. Mm -hmm. Electricity. So you have an electric pump? Yes, there is a pump. Any challenges with that? Ah, a lot of challenges. It's very expensive to use electricity. Electricity in our area sometimes it goes off for so many hours and yes. maybe we need water for the for domestic and for the cattle. I think we have a better solution for you. Yes. But before we go to that, just yes. have a look at this clip mm. here. Yes. Changing weather patterns have made it difficult for farmers to plan their seasons. The Davies and Shutcliffe Company are here setting up a solar pump for Farmer Caleb and Brian will tell us more on this solar pumping solution. How has farming been for you, especially now with the climate changing and all that? Well, we are standing a few meters from here. Back in 2018, I lost my entire crop. I lost everything. There was a drought. Mm -hmm. Dependence on rain for a modern day farmer is not tenable anymore. Uh -huh. You have to think of irrigation. Mm -hmm. and drip irrigation for that matter. Drip irrigation really helps a farmer to, number one, conserve water. If rainfall is minimal, then the farmer is harvesting some little water, then he has to use it very optimally. And drip irrigation does exactly that. Okay. You only give the plant what it needs. Good, good. So, Caleb, when you decided on drip irrigation, you must have considered a pump. I've been using uh, the petrol uh, pump. It works well, but the cost of fuel, you know, it has gone up. I have to pass on the cost to the customers or I have to go green. I don't have another option. The petrol pump, does it break down? The cost comes in in terms of the overall maintenance. You go look at the oil, go look at the plugs, you go look at just the general wear and tear. You automatically become a mechanic as a farmer. Yes. And sometimes you're not really good at it. And since you're not very good at it, sometimes I'm sure your pump was smoking. Oh, it's smoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what we normally advise farmers, if, especially if they want to reduce the operational cost at the farm, is to adopt a solar water pumping solution. Solar water, water pump. pumping solution. It saves you money because once it's installed, when the sun comes up, you're able to use solar energy to pump water without any worries. Uh -huh. Right now, I can see there's some installation going on. Yeah. So, Caleb, what made you now think of changing, upgrading to the solar pump? We, we have to be smart in what we are doing. So I'm looking forward to seeing the solar pump working because my clients, I'm going to pass on the benefits to them at the end of the day. Wow. Yeah. So, so Brian, yeah. how does a farmer cut costs when you compare the petrol mm -hmm. and the solar pump? Yeah, most farmers like Caleb spend averagely between 800 shillings to 1,000 shillings every week just on the petrol. And it's not just petrol alone, it's also the transport costs involved because you don't get the petrol from here. So the first things a solar water pump will do is make sure that you're not adding more money to the solution. You can save up to 70% uh, of your costs every week when you're using a solar water pump. Mm -hmm. Caleb had said he was, uh, he was becoming a mechanic as well as a farmer. It's pretty easy to manage and there is minimal maintenance. You don't have to have extra knowledge. On, on, on solar water pumps. Farmers that use solar water pump, like he said, he's reduced his costs. So it means you can pump more water over time and it becomes much more than your farm needs. What you can therefore do is to even resell that water to the next, the next person in the next farm. If you are tilling like two acres, you can now till five acres. So today, Brian, what kind of pump are we installing for Caleb? Today we are installing a surface pump that will be taking water from his dam and taking it over to his tank. Surface pump. A surface pump. Does it mean you have different kinds of pumps? Yes, we do have different kinds of for pumps. For drip irrigation. For drip irrigation. So if he was having a shallow well, then you'd have a submersible pump that would be put inside the water to get the water out. But since he's doing it on a dam, we have a surface pump that just gets water from the surface, passes it on to the tank. Does it mm -hmm. pump throughout or do I go and switch it on and off? If the pump is on, as soon as the sun comes up, it starts. But the good thing is you can be able to control the controller for the pump from your phone. So that gives you a lot of flexibility in even how long you want to pump. It's exactly. connected to the phone network? Connected network? to the phone, yes. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. I can't wait for you to switch it on and start planting today. <laughs> really? I, I can't wait. Because the idea is to produce off-season. When everybody else is not planting, you're the one who's planting, you're the one who's selling. Smart farming. Smart farming. Mm. And it uses solar power, so, oh. so no more electricity. It uses the sun? Yes. Would you be interested Very in Very interested, instead of using electricity, which is so expensive. Yes. Yeah.